How to create a portfolio with Canva, step-by-step -step for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a Canva portfolio website, the step-by-step -step guide, and all the different elements and edits you need to make to make it a highly optimized portfolio. So let's get started. I am currently on canva.com and I have logged on to my account. This is a free version of Canva. You don't need to upgrade to the premium version to be able to do this. Now, once you log on to your account, you're going to click on websites over here. And once you click on websites, you can click on portfolio website over here and create a blank website. Now, I like to start with a blank, but I'll show you guys the way that you want to proceed. When you open up a blank website, on the left, it's going to show you some templates. And you can click on these templates and see all the different types of pages that have been created. So I want to build my portfolio as a makeup artist. And you guys can see there are a lot of different kinds of portfolios, visual portfolios, portfolios that are more so based upon skill, or just general project-based portfolios. You can take inspiration from a bunch of these and include elements that fit with you. So I can take this particular website and I'm going to apply the first page like this. And then I'm going to rename this into Lily's Makeup Portfolio, like so. And on the bottom, I want to add my information like this. And let's say we want to include our location. And then maybe I also want to include the email address but I'm not going to do that. I just want to keep it like so. Now, to further make this website a bit more interesting, you can click on any element and then click on effects on the top right. You can add some type of text effect, or if you want to add animations, just click on animate on the top right, and you can add a animation. Your animations can be text animations or even page animations from when a person scrolls from one page onto the next. Now. Within this template design, we have a background image. So I am going to click on this and I can delete this image. And then you can click on uploads on the left and upload your own. I am again going to be using a image that is from the internet. This is stock footage but you are definitely going to upload your own. Now, because I'm using a image that is, you know, not covering the entire background, I can choose to include a secondary image or I can choose to include a different type of image. But if you are doing something like this, you can easily just resize your write up a little and then place it like so, like this. And once I place it like this, I'm just gonna make it a bit towards the right like this and then I can include my information on the top. I think I want to include my information over here. I'm just going to ensure that everything looks nice and centered. And now once I've done that, I can just go on and proceed on to the next page. Now if you want to include more design elements, you can click on elements on the left and you can search for shapes or you can just search for creative items and then you can go into graphics. You will see there are lines, squiggles, designs that can help you in adding some texture. So I can take a squiggle like this and I can make it, you know, a slightly lighter color from the background to just make it a bit more dynamic like so. Now this is up to you and your personal preference how, how many items you want to include. But I'm going to go ahead and click on add page and let's get started with designing our next portfolio page. Now for any portfolio, you want to include a biography and the work you have already done or the projects that you have already worked upon. So usually this is just going to entail a text section. You can click on text on the left and click on heading. Once you add a heading from the top left, you want to choose the type of text you want. So from here, you can search for different types of fonts. I want something that looks professional. So I have a couple of recommended fonts over here that I can pick out from. And from here, we're going to add our biography like this. And after that, I think I'm going to switch the sides. 
and I'm going to write the biography over here and you might want to include a picture of your work or a picture of yourself. This is totally up to personal preferences. This is not something that is standardized or that you have to do in only one way. You have multiple options on how you want to proceed with these types of layouts, but you just want to go with something that works well. So I'm just going to include an image and then I'll add this text and below that I'm going to add some complementary text. So which is, you know, which is going to be reflective of my brand. So from makeup enthusiast to artist and I'm just going to change the font sizing for this like this. And then below that, I can add some of my body text from where I can include, you know, the biography information. I just want to write that over here. Now, to make this a bit more dynamic and to make it fit in with the first page, you're going to add some animations. You can click on any element over here and then click on animate on the top right. And you're going to choose the type of animation you want to use like this. So I think I want to use a simple rise animation and for the text I want to use a simple wipe animation like this and I'll just include that for both of the text elements. Now if you want further customization of these animations you can do that with Canva Pro. You can alter the directions as well as the speed by which your animations are going to take effect. Now moving on, let's add our next page where we can add our projects. So from here, you can either create a larger page that displays all of your work, and then you can make a entire page that's dedicated to each project or just start listing out all of your projects individually. Now I want to do some hyperlinking, so I am going to include three different sections. So first is going to be for natural makeup, Second is going to be for, you know, bronzy makeup. I'll just search for another one like this. And let's say I do full glam, natural, yeah, and then catty. Yeah, I'll include these three images. And once I've done that, I'm just going to resize them a bit like so. And I want all of them to be the same size. So I'm just going to go into elements and search for frame. And I'm just going to place all of these on top. And then I'm going to take a frame from here. There are a bunch of different options. I'm just taking this square one. And I'm going to place it three times, like so. And I'm going to hold it all together. Then do a right click, click on space evenly, and then tidy up. And now I'm going to place one image in each one. And then from here, I can proceed with a text down below. So this might be natural makeup like this, then we might have full glam, then at last we might have caddy makeup. And now I can designate a full page to each individual section like so, like so. And the way that you're going to link this is because you want people to be able to click on any item and be led to that page. So just click on the image or the text and then do a right click. You're going to see the option for a link and you just want to link it to the next page. So on page four, I have natural makeup and I'm just going to link the text here to natural makeup. Once you've completed all of these steps, your website is going to be ready to publish and you can click on publish website on the top right and proceed with your free domain on Canva. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.